everyone, I'm back in the craft room and I have the second hair bow project for you that I promised I would make. So we're going to glitter this one up and I'm going to do some other stuff on it to kind of decorate it even more. We're going to start this the same way as we started the other one and that's with our gloss Mod Podge in a cup. I'm going to put a little bit in there. Probably did more than I needed again. And then I'm going to use this Martha Stewart really fine glitter. And I'm going to pour some in there, mix it in with it until I get a nice glitter paste. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the glitter on here. Now what you can do is you can have a lot of glitter in there and then just do it this way. But what I like to do is do it this way and make sure I get a nice thick coat on there where you can't really see the color through it so well. And then I'd like to take the glitter and pour it on as well. That way I get really nice coverage and I do it over a tray so that I can put any excess glitter back into the container after. See, that's pretty good. And I'm going to keep doing that until I have the whole thing covered. Once you have it all covered, let it sit and dry. And then we'll come back and we'll move on to the next step. Once it has dried, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this outside. I'm going to put a high shine glaze on there real quick. And the reason I'm doing it on this one and I didn't on the last one is because this is that very fine glitter. And that has a tendency to not stick quite as well because it's so fine you'll probably, you know, lose a lot of the glitter. Not the base coat and you'll probably still have enough covering it, but I think it just will give it a little extra insurance that will make it look a little bit nicer. So I'm just using this high shine glaze um, and you could use any kind of a clear like glossy finish type of a thing on there. So as soon as I do that I'll be back. Okay I took it out and I sprayed it and I really didn't love the way it looked after I sprayed it. So what I'm gonna do now is, I normally don't spray inside but I'll spray just a little bit to kind of show you. I'm gonna take it again and I'm gonna just kind of spray again a very thin coat over it. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little more glitter on top because it kind of gives back the more glittery look that I'm looking for because once you coat it it kind of loses a little bit of the, the glitter look and this gives it a little extra stick while protecting a layer underneath. So give it a chance to dry and then you can shake off any excess and then we will finish decorating it. But see that looks much better. The shine is back. It's all dry and now what I decided to do is I wanted to put, originally what I thought I would do was take these big flower gems which I got from all of these gems from Oriental Trading and if you want to find where you can get them go to orientaltrading.com you can get them there and I was going to go with big flowers on here and then I thought you know they're kind of overwhelming and I have the same ones whoops, and little and I thought I would just do like the white or the clear and the purple on here and I thought that would be kind of a pretty look so I'm going to kind of figure out a pattern that I want and I'm going to glue them on. I was going to use a hot glue gun, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to use my skewer stick, some ultimate glue, dab a little on the back, and then put it on there because I think that will hold better over time. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one that's a little bit bigger and I'm going to put that right up top center. So I want to make sure I have this on pretty correctly to get a feel for where the center is and I'm going to center it right on there. And I'm going to take some of this glue, put it on, and this is nice thick glue. And it dries clear in case anything squishes out. I'm going to put that on there right in the middle, squish it down. Then I'll take the next one, also purple, and kind of start kind of a kind of a swirl-ish kind of a look. I guess swirl's not the right word, kind of a curve. And I'll keep doing that. Then I'm going to take a clear one and put it right in where 
I kind of have that arch. You can see it start to come together a little bit and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, probably about that far down. Here it is, all pretty and done and it's nice and sparkly. Um, you're still going to get a little flaking of glitter for a while and then, and then it should just be fine. So here it is, just pop it right in and you got this really pretty, pretty hair bow. Remember, you can make a hair bow and just leave it glittered only and have it match whatever outfit you want. But otherwise, you can dress it up with all kinds of things, and I hope you like it. I hope you give it a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Happy crafting. Don't forget to stop by my website at www.craftclutch.com uh, for directions for this and all my other crafts. We'll see you next time. Thanks.